So we're back again with another hopefully fun video. I filmed this back in July, I think around July 4th. And as you can see, the pond plants are growing like crazy. They look beautiful. Um, well, for the most part, some of them are kind of looking a little scraggly, like that one right there. I'm not really even sure what kind of, uh, uh, what happened to that poor taro leaf, but it's not doing too well. It's been over 104 degrees in California, so um, I think the plants are kind of wilty a little bit. Um, I kept that umbrella up there with the shade, uh, hoping to try and keep the pond cool. Thankfully, the water hasn't gotten more than 82 degrees in the 40 gallon and 180 gallon. I think the highest was 78 degrees. So it's been uh, a challenge trying to keep the water cool. Basically, I have to tap it off um, because it's been evaporating pretty fast. So I add water in every um, Wednesday and Saturday and just uh, top it back up. Or if I notice that the water has gotten too hot, then I try and add it. A little bit of water the next day but for the most part it's, it hasn't uh, it hasn't gotten too hot and it's maintained its temperature um, as you can see from those uh, water hyacinth they have a lot of dead bulbs on them and so I've been cleaning those up getting rid of the ones that are dying and then cutting off the, uh, the bulbs on the ends I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do with water hyacinth but that's what I do with mine so uh, I don't really like them to be decaying in the water because that's dangerous for the fish. So the next uh, part is I'm just going to kind of take you around to so show you just what kind of plants I have. You went with me when I scavenged uh, the cattails and some of the other plants. Uh, the poor seep spring, seep spring monkey flower died. Maybe it'll come back next year. I don't know. Um, it, you know, I still in the pot. At least the roots are. So hopefully it'll, it'll return. As you can see, my little bratster down there, they've been chomping on my water lily. Um, it's not doing well either because they like to eat it. Yeah, I'm not sure which one is the culprit that's uh, eating my lilies. Maybe one, maybe all, but this is what they do. It starts going like this, you pull it up and boom, look at that. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, you totally ate all of them. Even know you got this one too. So this is why you can't have goldfish and lilies, apparently. You're just gonna eat it right in front of me, huh? Like, just right in front of me. You're trying to look all innocent, but you're not. I see you down there. I see you. I think the duckweed. I think the duckweed is the biggest surprise that I had. I purchased it last year. Um, actually, I didn't even buy it. I went to um, my local nursery, um, the one where I went and bought palm plants, same one, and they had duckweed, and they were just giving it away for free, so I could just take bags of it. But it kind of died off, and so I didn't have any, and I didn't think any of it has survived. Um, and then it just kind of started back up again um, once it got warmer. I wasn't sure if it was duckweed or if it was water lettuce and, you know, just maybe the water lettuce. But um, based on the way it's growing, it, I think it's duckweed. So, but yeah, it's coming back, which is kind of cool. The water plants are doing really well. As you can see, the hornwort is growing like crazy. Multiple branches. 
Trying to keep the pollen cool in 104 degree temperatures. It's been 104. I think one day it was 108 for the last week. But the plants are doing well. And somewhere in there, I'm not quite sure where, is the extra pond. <laughs> 